Hi, I'm Allie Marie. I am an international best-selling author. I am also the creator of Sacred Woman Healing. And tonight we are doing a blessing and ritual for my new oracle deck, the Creatic the Creatrix Awakened Oracle Deck. Um, this was um, brought to life by Shannon Vandenberg and her team um, with Muse Oracle Press. Um, I was very honored to be able to write in this Oracle Deck as were, I believe, 16 other authors. Um, it has been two years. It has been kind of a labor of love to really try and bring this to life every moment was very magical and we got to see the cards brought to life we got to channel the wisdom in the cards um, and it's been a journey over the last two years to get this brought to life but i received my deck today and i'm very excited to do so um, so here's what the deck looks like the art is very stunning here is my card Um, so tonight, under the full moon, partial lunar eclipse in Pisces, we're going to go ahead and consecrate this deck and do a little blessing. Um, so to get started, I'm going to go ahead and light my main candle. And we'll also be making blessed water um, along with this ritual so that we can go ahead and bless the deck with blessed water. I'm going to go ahead and read my um, opening prayers off my notes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start by opening the circle. So as I turn to the east, the direction of air, intellect, and new beginnings, I call upon the guardian of the east the element of air to breathe life into our ceremony. May the winds of change and clarity guide our, th our thoughts and words. Hail and welcome. And as I do this for air, I will light my incense representative of air. So I'll go ahead and smudge really quick. I'm going to go ahead and smudge our cards to begin with. And then we'll smudge our tools. And always smudge behind you, as my teacher Athena says. That is where people talk about you they talk about you behind their back and if you didn't catch her live tonight she actually said that tonight um so we will now turn to the south i call upon the guardians of the south the element of fire to ignite our spirits and awaken our inner flames may the energy of fire inspire creativity and courage hail and welcome and as we call on the guardians, we will also light our white candle to represent fire. We now turn to the west where water is. I call upon the guardian of the west, the element of water, to cleanse and heal our hearts. May the flow of water nurture our souls and deepen our intuition. Hail and welcome. And with that, we will sprinkle water. We now turn to the guardians of the north. I call upon the guardians of the north, the element of earth, to ground us in this sacred moment. May the strength and stability of the earth support our intentions and bring forth abundance and wisdom. Hail and welcome. And for our earth, we have salt. And I'll sprinkle just a bit of salt into our water. Now I call upon the spirit, the divine essence that connects us all, 
May the Shekinah, the sacred white rose, bless this space of purity, love, and divine wisdom. Hail and welcome. We will now start the blessing and invocation of water and salt with frankincense essential oils. So with pure intention and open hearts, we gather here to bless this water. As the lifeblood of our planet, may it be infused with the energy of renewal and cleansing. Water, the essence of life, we honor your presence. We ask for your strength and purity to flow through us cleansing our spirits and nurturing our souls. May this water carry the vibration of love, peace, and clarity to all who come into contact with it. May it bless our homes, our bodies, and our minds with the harmonious energy of the universe. Now we call upon the ancient elements to join us in this sacred ritual. With this salt, symbol of earth and protection, we purify this water. May it absorb all negativity and transform it into positive energy. May it ground us and connect us to the stability of the earth. With this frankincense, symbol of air and spirit, we invoke the divine presence. May its sacred scent elevate our minds and open our hearts to higher wisdom. May it bring tranquility, inspiration, and spiritual clarity. As we blend these elements, we create a powerful elixir of life. May this consecrated water be a source of healing, protection, and enlightenment. We thank the earth and the spirit for their gifts, and we honor the sacredness of this moment. So it is, and so it shall be. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and bless our cards with the holy water we just made. And since my hands are wet, I will just go through, place my thumb on them to remove any and all negative energy um, through that may have happened through like transport, the creation of the cards, the delivery of the cards. And I just want to show you the cards really quick. They're beautiful. You already saw my card. This is the Age of Sophia. So it's softening devotion and way showing. And mine is the White Rose of Shekinah. It is the self-discovery, divine feminine, and inner peace. We have the Lady of the Lake, surrender, expression, and revelation. We have perpetual ascension. We have Celestial Awakening. And the last one I'll show you is Bridget, Goddess of Fire. I think she's beautiful. And she's for potential reverence and assuredness. Um, so, let's see. We're going to go ahead and place the cards in the middle of my altar here. Divine Creatrix, we invoke your presence as we consecrate this oracle deck. May it serve as a sacred tool for guidance, insight, and transformation. Infuse these cards with your divine energy, wisdom, and love. May they be a beacon of light for all who seek their counsel. So we're going to take a moment and connect with our inner sacred space. This is what the White Rose of Shekinah represents. It is the inner sanctum, the inner tabernacle that is within our souls, that dwells within each one of us. So just visualize a pure, radiant light within your heart and let it radiate outwards from your heart. And let it fill up your aura and then let it fill up the room that you're in. 
after that let it extend to the rest of your house to your neighborhood to your city to the state you live in or to the place of the world that you live in and then let's go all the way around the world with this bright white light we're going to let it circle the earth And we're going to come let it rest in the palm of our hand. Let us embrace the world in this bright white pure light energy. We'll take one more deep breath. We honor the sacred tabernacle within each of us, the divine dwelling place for our soul. May this ritual awaken our inner wisdom and connect us to the higher realms. As we journey within, may we find the answers we seek and the strength to follow our true path. With the full moon in Pisces and the energy of a partial lunar eclipse upon us, this is a powerful time for introspection release and spiritual awakening so i think that with the cards being delivered today um this is a really good time to go within yourself because eclipse energy is kind of wonky and you want to go within yourself and journal and and be quiet and um when i started my spiritual journey uh the thing that I kept hearing over and over is be still and know that I am God. Um, so that's kind of a mantra I've kept with me um, my whole life. But really when I started this journey back in 2016 um, is when I started. And so tonight feels like a good night to go within and to hold that peace within ourselves. Under the light of the full moon in Pisces and the transformative power of the lunar eclipse, we release all that no longer serves us. We embrace the flow of divine energy and open ourselves to spiritual awakening. May the Shekinah, the sacred white rose, guide us on our journey and illuminate our path forward. We are going to end with closing the circle. So, we are going to turn to the north and let's see guardian of the north element of earth we thank you for your presence and blessings go in peace and leave your strength with us hail and farewell and as we bid farewell to the north we will sprinkle just a pinch of salt on the ground as a blessing we now turn to the west Guardian of the West, element of water, we thank you for your presence and blessings. Go in peace and leave your love with us. Hail and farewell. And with that, we will go ahead and dip our fingers into the blessed water. And just bless our inner selves. We now turn to the south. Guardian of the South, element of fire, we thank you for your presence and blessings. Go in peace and leave your inspiration with us. Hail and farewell. And with that, we will go ahead and extinguish our candles. We bid our final farewell to the East. Guardian of the East, element of air, we thank you for your presence and blessings. Go in peace and leave your clarity with us. Hail and farewell. And with that, we give one final blessing with our sage. And to give the final, final blessing, we'll go ahead and take our deck in our hands once more. And as I'm giving a blessing, I'm going to hold them in my right hands, which is the hand we give with, we receive in our left. With gratitude and reverence, we bless this oracle deck. May it be a source of divine guidance, 
healing, and inspiration. As we close this sacred circle, may the energy of this ritual remain with us, empowering us on our journey. And with that, I thank you for joining me with, for this ritual. Thank you, and God bless you.